Good morning, everybody. It's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. I hope you're all okay, my darlings. Oh dear, what a morning. Look at it. It's pouring with rain. My hubby took Ruby to school. And obviously for the last, well, every morning I do try and take my dogs for a walk. But when it's like this, we're not walking. We're not going out in that, are we? You don't like going out for a walk at the best of times, do you? But when it's absolutely pouring with rain, I don't think that would make you very happy, would it? Would you like to go out in the rain? <coughs> Sorry? <laughs> Did it make you burp at the thought of going out in all that rain? Ooh, something a bit interesting if you're not from England. It's the bin lorry. That's the lorry that comes and empties your dustbins. So they put the, the bins on the back of the lot, the lorry tips it up, empties the rubbish. And that's it. And then they leave your bin by the side of the road and then you bring your bin in. Thank you, Mr. Bin Lorry. Oh, I also saw this this morning. So I've paused it to show you all because I'm sure this will bring some really happy memories to some people. So this is the crew of Play School. Um, and I can remember that's Humpty, um, and I think that doll was called Jemima, possibly. But I just saw it on the telly and I thought, oh, I bet there's some people that are my sort of age that can remember this. It's so lovely, isn't it? So I hope for just a second, this picture transports you back to your childhood and some really, really lovely, happy memories of play school. Lipstick of the day, me. So lipstick of the day today is an Avon new Power Stay lipstick in colour In Control Coral. Now, I did test this last week. It didn't come off. It stayed on all day. When I first put it on, I was like, oh, I'm not really that keen. The more I've worn it, the more I love it. It is brilliant. It doesn't come off. It's amazing. I love it so much. So, sorry, I've just put chewing gum in. <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget the link to my little Avon shop is down below. If you spend £20 on Avon, you get free UK delivery straight to your door. So you can treat yourself to a bit of something. I'm still wearing the Lisa Armstrong makeup. I absolutely love it so much. It's so lovely. The foundation is absolutely brilliant. I can't fault it. I love it so, so much. I do actually think it's one of the best foundations I've ever used, which is quite a big statement. But it's brilliant. I love it. Anyway, right, we're nipping out. Let's go. Oh, right, I'm ready to go. Here's me, just Crazy Bag Lady. Look at me. That is why I deserve the name Crazy Bag Lady. No matter where I go, I always end up with so many bags. I've not even left the house yet. Look at me. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I've got a coat to return to H&M, jumper to return to the charity shop, a list of jobs I need to do. Let's go. Oh, this weather's rubbish. Look at it. It's still, it's not raining, but it's like drizzling. So it's the kind of weather that makes your hair go curly, even when you haven't got curly hair. Right, let's go. Thank you. 
donations well, yeah. <laughs> oh wow <laughs> yeah <laughs> Back in my car. Oh dear, you can tell my hair's got wet. Now the sun's come out and I'm left all like fluffy and bedraggled. Thanks, weather. <laughs> right, so it's now uh, half past 12. We need to go home, have some dinner, and then my Tesco food shopping's coming at one. So we're probably going to clash between Tesco food and my dinner. Let's go home. Got home and it's already here. So he's just unloading it. Wow, it's early. It's a good job I was home. Oh, right, so because it was early, so here's all my food. So I need to get all this put away. Get out of the food. Get this put away and then we can have some dinner. Oh, right, that's all my food shopping put away. So I've brushed myself up some dinner. So I've got a cup of coffee in my I Love Shopping mug. Some seafood sticks, little tomatoes and mackerel in olive oil. And then I've had to ring Tesco and complain because my meat was missing. So I needed some chicken for my tea tonight and it was missing. So I've had to ring them up, complain, they've refunded me and then I've had to nip to the butchers and I've got myself some fresh chicken from the butchers for my tea now instead. So I must remember to shop more local anyway. I always forget about my local butchers, which is awful and I really shouldn't. So from now on, I need to use my local butchers more often. So that's what we've got for tea, a lovely bit of chicken. Oh, right, my dinner was lovely. So today I bought this, which is like a rustic, it's a bit rusty and stuff inside. It's like a rustic old silver vase. I just really like the like rusticness of it. So I bought myself some uh, dried flowers on the way home. So I got those orange ones because I thought it's like autumn. And then these like palm, whatever they're called, like feathery things. But then on the way home, when I was driving back, I saw these at the side of the road growing, not growing, but they're like obviously dead. Um, but I thought, wow, they're really cool. So I'm a bit annoyed because if I'd have seen those first for free, obviously on the side of the road, I probably wouldn't have bought those, but never mind. So I thought, wow. So I stopped my car and got out and took a few from the roadside. And I thought, actually, they're really rustic and sort of a bit cool and trendy. So I made myself a little display. <laughs> I don't know if it's staying there. Um, and obviously, I've got that vase that I bought the other day as well. So I need to decide where I'm putting them. But I just loved that rustic vase. I thought it was so cool. Ooh, so there's my orange ones in my charity shop vase. Wow, they've just made an absolute mess everywhere. Look, they <laughs> drop bits everywhere. So I'm going to have to get my hoover and clean it up. But I do like them. Um, obviously, I think myself, don't, don't touch them, Jane, because if you touch them, they just make a mess everywhere. But um, I like the rustic, it's like orange colour, especially for this time of year with my little pumpkins and stuff. It's really cute. Oh, before I forget, one of my lovely subscribers had her birthday yesterday. Lovely Susan and her lovely dog, Daisy, bless them. 
So Susan, I hope you had a really wonderful birthday. I did send her a card, which she did message me and said she'd got the card. So Susan, happy birthday for yesterday. Let's all wish Susan a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Susan. About to get Mr. Shark out. Get all the bits up. See, what a mess. Ooh, right, I just had a quick look at my magazine and it's really funny because it says Cardigans are just everywhere and this year is going to be the year of the cardigan So if you don't own a cardigan, you really need to get yourself one. It's everywhere. Got to love a good cardigan Ooh, Right, super fast. What did I buy? Oh, I have my cardigan on today <laughs> So this was a cardigan I got from one of my little shopping trips. I've tucked it in at the front um, It was from charity shop and it's a hand-knitted cardigan. It's been so cozy and so warm. I love it so what did I buy today? I bought this Ta -da! from the charity shop. Um, I've no idea where I'm going to put it, but I really liked it and fake plants and stuff are really in at the minute. I do love real plants, but I thought I might be able to put it in my conservatory because I can't really put real plants in there because it gets really hot and then they die. Um, I got this cool jumper, which Again, it's probably a bit vintage now. I don't think this shop even exists anymore. This shop used to be everywhere, jumper. Um, I can just remember it when I was younger, but uh, they used to have the most amazing jumpers. And these flowery embroidered sort of jumpers seem to really be coming back into fashion. And I loved it. I like navy blue and it's got pretty flowers all over it. And then on the back of it, it's even got a little random flower. So I thought that was really sweet. I really liked it. <laughs> and then I got a blue polo neck jumper, which again can look really sort of smart and classy with your nice high waisted jeans and perhaps a classy belt or something. So that's what else I bought. And then I got this. It's so fluffy. It's so fluffy. It'll probably be too small for me, so I'll perhaps give it Ruby, but it is the softest fluffiest jumper I've ever seen and it is small but it's really really stretchy um but I think it might be too short I'm not sure but if not Ruby I'll have it it's absolutely beautiful I love fluffy stuff look so fluffy so that's what I bought and then I also got this super cute little necklace which again I will use in my sewing um it was only 50p so the little pearls and stuff will come in really useful for when I'm making my little mice and stuff because they always have little pearl necklaces and yeah so that's what I bought today <laughs> back in the car again i nearly ran out of time Whew, so my potatoes are cooked but i've got to put them in the oven to roast them uh, but i'm gonna do it when i get back and the chicken smells absolutely beautiful i've just cooked it right let's go to school oh, a bit of taylor swift while we're waiting <laughs> we're home <laughs> that's it maybe you just lay on the floor <laughs> Stop misbehaving. Ooh, right, ladies and gentlemen, that's my tea. So I've got my chicken that I fetched, which was wrapped in bacon with a little bit of laughing cow light and some parsley, which is the little green bits. Lots of salad and a few little tiny little mini loo like roast potato things that I made. So off to enjoy it. Ooh, tea was delicious. So it's just me and my little furry people. So I'm gonna go for a walk before it rains. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go for a walk. So peaceful in the net. It's so nice.
<sighs> nice walk. But now I've got water right back and I forgot it's all uphill. Oh, my little legs. Come on, ladies. Wish we were a bit bigger than you could pull me. <laughs> my poor old legs. I'm home, I'm home and I've walked two miles. I didn't realise that we went quite so far. I was trying to count the steps on my phone, so I thought, oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. And when I got home, we'd done 2.1 miles. <laughs> I didn't realise we'd gone so far. So I'm now gonna run myself a beautiful bubble wrap. You've guessed it, it's my favourite. It seems to be like a Thursday night theme that I have an Avon lavender bubble bath. It is so relaxing, I really, really like it. I've not got much left, so I think I'm going to have to order myself more. Remember, it's only £2. Makes the most magnificent bubbles. It's wonderful. Woohoo! It's wonderful! Oh, right, my dears, I'm going to love you and leave you. Check out my glitter wall. <laughs> so many thanks for joining me today. If you do enjoy just a bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. Huge shout out to my queeners. Happy birthday again to Susan. I hope you did have a lovely day. Happy birthday if it is your birthday today or tomorrow. I hope you're gonna have a lovely day. Um, and please just stay safe. The cases in in England at the minute are rising rapidly. It's really, really not good with the virus at the minute. It's really scary. Try not to watch the news, but when you do, it frightens you to death. So just big hugs to us all. Please stay safe. Just enjoy each day for what it is. And just don't think too much about the future and stuff. And just think, well, if you're going for a nice little walk in the park or something and you get a little bit of sunshine and you hear the birds singing, just enjoy it. Take care, my darlings. I will love you and leave you. I will speak to you tomorrow. Big hugs. Take care. Bye.